hello hello there and welcome back to Wolfen aboard the two run two and I really love to see this vehicle in the game this Hungarian tank is actually in the Italian tech tree as a premium reward at battle rating 2.0 rank 2 and you currently can uh, can obtain this tank via the battle pass number six firepower and it is obtainable as the level 14 reward now it's obviously not the highest reward maybe not the reward that you're looking forward but what is this tank how does it perform this is what i tried to explain in this video uh, it's a little bit of a seal clover but it's not the very best seal clover that i have seen in war thunder but it's still a pretty good solid tank and yeah battle rating 2.0 what do you expect in a nutshell you can describe it as a better protected panzer 4c basically but that's just a rough description the further details um, can be divided into mobility firepower and protection let's start with the mobility and we have a horsepower to ton ratio of roughly 13 horsepower per ton top speed is 43 kilometers per hour and reverse is 12 that is very much workable and for this nearly 20 ton tank that that feels solid but at lower speeds it can really give the driver a bit of a problem you better have a very well trained one uh, no neutral steering though and the engine as well as the transmission are both in the back so sadly there is nothing protecting the lower glazes which is only 35 millimeters thick I say only five a lot of tanks would love to have this amount of protection and it's a bit uh, angled the upper frontal glazes is rather flat with 50 millimeters but you also can slightly angle it in certain situations and yeah it can actually bounce sometimes stuff the turret front is also 50 millimeters with the turret ring being actually quite um, dominant i'd say with 25 and uh, 13 millimeters respectively there are a lot of uh, gun mantles from the machine gun protections and the main cannon etc a lot of other roundings and angled surfaces that also control with shots and uh, also there are those um, yeah very big side screens and some additional add-on tracks on the side of the turret at least on one side so that also helps surprisingly well then the tank is rather big and spacious so solid shot uh, very often does not kill you even though if you look at the x-ray you might say holy hell that is crazy because the inside of the hull and the turret are both cladded somewhat in ammunition yet i did not die once to an ammo rack hit even though i went in with full ammunition capacity because you have such a high rate of fire of 3.3 seconds uh, if you have a fully trained fully qualified ace crew so yeah that is that is quite impressive now let's finally talk about the gun handling of the 75 millimeter 41 m cannon you have 52 rounds of ammunition you have 10 degrees of gun depression 20 degrees of gun elevation you have a turret rotation speed of 15 degrees per second and you have a turret elevation speed of 4 degrees per second so nothing outstanding there except for the reload now the tank also has three ammo types for the main gun the first one is an ap cbc round the 42 36 m with 400 meters per second muscle velocity 80 grams of t of tnt bursting charge which is mighty but only 44 millimeters of penetration at best so at 500 meters it's only 37 that is not good but when you have somebody immobilized and you just uh, switch ammunition you can just save you some ammunition but it's not really necessary but it results in spectacular explosions we have also the 42 slash 38 m high explosive round with 450 meters per second muscle velocity and 400 grams of explosive mass but only seven millimeters of penetration but it might help you versus a potato truck whatever you know very slightly protected tanks where your ap might go through but the two ammo types are completely irrelevant because the third ammo type is the 42m heat round 450 meters per second muscle velocity 
875 grams of TNT equivalent bursting charge. So that is uh, more than the uh, HE round, like quite a bit, more than twice actually. And you have 90 millimeters of penetration at any distance. And you know, 450 meters per second mass velocity on those rather close quarters uh, maps in War Thunder is more than workable. A good example here is I just bounce constantly on this uh, Panzer III's turret and uh, then something funny happens. It seems like he's wedged up. I switch to the AP round and then I overmatch the roof. And that was a spectacular one shot. That was probably the only time that I used the um, AP CVC round. So I think that the combination of protection, rate of fire and ammunition types makes this tank quite deadly and quite capable but not completely immune or outstanding. You're a bit limited with your mobility compared to some, you know, Puma style tanks in the German tech tree that zip around the map. But I say this is a fine tank. This is a good tank and in the hands of an experienced seal clubber, it's really good at seal clubbing, but we have seen better ones. To be honest, I had a lot of fun in this tank, but it will be a fine addition to my collection, I'd say and I will thoroughly enjoy it sometimes in the future, but it's not something extremely outstanding. I hope you get this right. Um, there are just so many good seal clubbers in War Thunder that this is just one of many, to be honest. And yeah, it's, it's something nice to pick up along the way. Maybe this is a precursor to the uh, Hungarian tech tree far in the future, who knows? Um, it wouldn't surprise me that we have then the same situation uh, with uh, Hungary that we will see this tank in the future in a Hungarian tech tree uh, as a as another premium, just like we have seen with the Makavas with the Israeli tech tree um, in the American reward line, so to say. So yeah, two round two, fantastic tank, really good, and a lot of fun. The question is, are you really in for this tank? Let me know in the comment section uh, who of you actually waited for this tank and who of you just pick it up along the way, play it just for a couple of matches and then be done with it. Um, I say low tier is fun tier. This is where War Thunder really shows uh, what's, what it can do, what it actually initially was designed to do and i just can't get enough for the moment right eventually sadly i have to move on otherwise i'd be shamed as a shield clubber but honestly everybody does this and then all the hypocrites are in the comment section yeah i'm just a fair game player yeah <laughs> come on uh but it's always uh, nice to see those comments it's always nice to uh, see who is a hypocrite and who not. Now, if you're really innocent, you might throw the first stone at your own screen. <laughs> okay, I'm a, I'm a little bit trolling here, but in all honesty, I had a good time and I'm so relieved that this is not uh, some top tier stuff with night battles, helicopters, thermals. It's just good old tanking, just in your face tank gameplay. I love it. Um, and yeah, it, it brings up um, a lot of memories how it was to play kind of with the Panzer IV, just with more armor. So I can't wait for uh, showing you the M64, which is another Battle Pass reward. MTB422, uh, I don't think that I will really go for that as a video, except if you're really asking for it in the comment section right now. And especially the SU-8 seems to be really interesting to say the least if I look at the amount of armor, the guns uh, and just the plane in general it seems insane. But for the moment 2 run 2 yeah pretty cool I love it and uh, that's actually it for me today so thanks for watching thanks for listening I hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like if you did subscribe if you want to see more and we'll see each other as usual on the waves in the skies and on the battlefields of War Thunder.